Good evening, welcome to Vape Talk UK episode 181. Hello. Does wow. someone need to oil Chandler? Who squeaked? Chandler. Wasn't me. Chandler. You, you need some Chandler WD 40, me. boy. <laughs> oh. Hey, have you, have you seen us? Look, look, have you noticed? Look, look, it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Pretty much. Yeah. Bob on. What is wrong with us? Um, and not only are we all here, we are plus one today as well. Plus one? What corner is it? Oh! No, it's this, this corner. This corner. Um, down here. Yeah, down it's down. Down. Chris, other way. Other no, way. I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, give a big warm welcome to um, Rich. Um, we will introduce Rich um, in a moment um, because I've got far too much shit on my screen to be dealing with this right now. <laughs> that shit on your screen is us three lovely gentlemen and rich. Yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. us three lovely gentlemen and rich. <laughs> and rich. What? I didn't, I didn't want to pass him. I didn't, I didn't want to pass him. I didn't want to pass him as shit on a fir first meeting, but he hasn't opened his mouth yet, so I don't want to. I want to hold back judgment. <laughs> Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, yes, uh, in our bottom. Is it the same on their screen as it is to us? Is he is he bottom yes. right to bottom? Yeah, it is. Bottom, bottom right. right. Even though uh, I pointed yeah, to the left. Right. I say it. Good evening, Stuart. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, this is. Um, I keep going to say Liam. Sorry, Rich. Um, this is uh, Rich. He is uh, joining us this evening. We've got a segment on the show this evening. Um, where we're talking a little bit about social media um, and Rich is from a is an admin on a particular um, Facebook group called uh, Choo Choo Vapors um, yep. the uh, reason we've got him on was that it was um, a group that grew quite quickly didn't it it wasn't a pretty much an overnight an overnight boom but um, we'll, we'll talk to you in a moment um, yep. Choo-choo all the way to the bank, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll talk to you in a moment when we... Maybe. We'll talk to you about the group in a moment once we get to that segment. So, if we proper camera angle on time, no Dave Grohl, is this the right show? Simon, we've got the no. PDAM music on, so you are on the right show. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to up my, I'm, I'm trying to up, up my YouTube game, aren't I? After my recent <laughs> venture that I was telling you about. So... Why not? Plus, yeah, I stole this idea the new from Mark. This yeah, I like the new camera angle. Right. Going high to hide the chins. No, not that. Uh, oh. That's what the zip-up jacket's for, mate. Um, no, it's uh, <laughs> that. What well, I bought that light ring stand, and then I saw how you've set yours up, and I just did exactly the same. It works. It works. So it let's 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 go in reverse order this week, Chandler. What you vaping on? Ah, I'm still building it. Um, right. Okie dokie. Let's. Shall like I bring out the surprising? Well. Yeah. Can you hear the chinchilla this week? No. Chinchilla. <coughs> yeah. In the last couple of weeks, you've moaned about that weird chinchilla noise, and I've had to turn my dehumidifier off. Oh no, you can't hear that. Your chinchilla's gone. Well, I'd like, I'd like to move the mic slightly closer to get it away from the dehumidifier because. You remember last week when I turned the dehumidifier on and I said, please remind me to turn it back on because yeah. uh, otherwise I'm going to forget. You forgot. Well, well I forgot. Um, and now my uh, stuff is falling off the walls because it's got damp. And uh, oh, also my, my, wet wipes, the... my wet wipes that I had here to take the piss out of channel. Oh, I'm showing sure, sure out there the camera's here now. These wet wipes I had here to take the piss out of the channel. Packets, packets of soggy. Everything's now damp well, because none of you fuckers remind me. Hang on, wet wipes. Hang on, wet wipes. Isn't yeah. that the point? Is, aren't they supposed well, to be not wet? Not the outside and soggy? of the packet. <laughs> not the outside. Oh no, of the packet, okay. Mate. I was, I was going to say a dry wet wipe. It, it, it's only a dry well, wet wipe yeah. that's useful. That, so you you um, can't use a white, a wet wet wipe. What? I swear you, you, you. Utilize the dry wet wipe in, in the initial video. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm, tr I'm trying to fill in time so you can build, and you're stopping and talking to me. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Carry on, keep filling. It's fine. No, 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 I'm, out, no, I'm out of filler now. We're we'll just talking about what you build for five minutes. Right, what we do then, I'll come put him on the spot. Everyone, everyone shush, everyone shush. What, oh, am I supposed to say something? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> right, what, what I'm going to say is it's been really awkward. Yeah. Uh, I'll hold it that way so you can actually see the writing the right way up. Uh, I cracked a skonker out, so I got my raven mods with my entheon on top and my ridiculously large drip tip, but I don't care because I like it. And inside that... Are you ready for this? Something... Is it the tears of a thousand orphans? Cactus Punch Custard! It, see, as it, as it says on the it. label, sounds wrong, but tastes so right. Now, it, actually... Right, for, it's, for, it's for, for, those, for those viewing, Chandler, can you explain... Oh, and Chris as well, because you baked it. I, I, explain the flavour of Cactus Punch. Have you ever tried? Uh, I, I hadn't heard of a cactus fruit until I hadn't heard of a cactus fruit until I, I, I heard of this juice. But it's got cactus fruit in it. Yeah, but is custard. cactus fruit different to a normal cacti? Yes, it's not. It's it's not just it's not just a cactus that you that you vape on. Oh, no, I, it's, I, it's, I thought it was like almond, no, I thought it was like almond milk. You know, they they somehow milk an almond. They somehow have got juice out of yeah. the cactus. It's 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 like a it's like a it's like a drag it's like a dragon it fruit, isn't? It, yeah, it's like dragon mm -hmm. fruit oh. isn't made out of real dragons. <laughs> do, do almonds actually do have? Do almonds have nipples? And dog biscuits, uh, yeah, and dog biscuits don't yeah, actually have yeah, dog in do. them. Oh, do they? Mm. Oh, okay. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon. I reckon Chandler. Chandler's the sort of bloke that likes to milk an almond. Nice it's, little tiny. You, you, get a, you get a very tiny bucket underneath an almond. And you're like, hmm. it, it's thimble. impossible. Use a thimble. <laughs> yeah, a, th a thimble, and you need you need to have the you need to have the angled tweezers to get underneath. You see, so you but you you hold your almond and you and you underneath with the tweezers and you just. Again, Job done. Chandler, you've stopped building. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I got what the cactus punch in that one. No, oh, I like nothing fuck, major. Fuck I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. A Ch Chandler, I will wait a minute. Richard, will you vape? Is it Rich? Richard, what do you uh, prefer? Rich. Uh, either. Rich, will you vape on me? Um, my favourite. <laughs> Jeffrey's root beer. Hey, did you want to see it again? There we go. <gasps> oh, now I see why you're on the show. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mark. Oh. Mark. Oh, shit. I changed earlier because I spilt shit on me. I was wearing my CDC t-shirt earlier. We can't hear you, Mark. No, you've gone. No, you can't hear gone. him. Who's gone? Mark's oh, gone. Who's is my is my audio on? Yeah, just yes, just just keep going. Keep I'm going. Keep going. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> what you're vaping? So what are you vaping on? that thing with? Um, I am using my Geek Vape Aegis with the Kylin V2. Uh, nice. Running right. single coil. How really is the V2? Uh, really, really tasty. Really, very tasty. Isn't that the one with the issue where if you had the normal glass, nothing could actually get through it? Uh, yes, the um, the TPD compliant glass is just literally ridiculous. Um, so I've got the gone for the uh, the bubble, which you get the bubble in the packet with it anyway. So it would make it makes complete sense to use it really. There we I'm go. I'm I'm again, Mark. Oh, yeah, the right, problem Mark. is I've lost I've lost my decent microphone. One second. Is that any oh. better? There we go. There yeah, we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's better. Ah, lost nice. my drip tip now. The professional. Yeah, those ages age yeah. legends are mental because you can just throw them around and they don't break. Uh, I did prove a point at work. Um, somebody started vaping and said, oh, "What have you got?" 
So I literally took my falcon off it and just launched it across the car park. Picked it up, screwed my tank back on. There we go. Jobs are good. Nice. Still all they need, chipped, all they need now is... So I'm a bit good. All they need now is an indestructible tank to go on top. Yeah, it's called a dripper. <laughs> smart, smart ass. Uh, it's called yeah, a pandora. I know chef. Jimmy. I know. I know Jimmy in Isig Zoo has a he has a pint glass on the he has a pint glass on the on the counter at work, and he literally just picks his mod up and goes plop. There you go. Um, I actually got this from Isig Zoo in Peterborough with Jimmy. Um, actually sold it to me. Um, Did he really? He he literally um, he was using one, and I said, "Oh, there he good." And he just literally unscrewed his tank and just went like that. It just went bouncing across the uh, the shop. I was like, "Yeah, I'll have one." See, the thing is, right? Even if the mod Dropped itself it is the indestructible, the batteries inside aren't. So you could still do in the battery for terminals on the batteries themselves, surely. Mm. I'm ruining the man's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Killjoy. But to be fair, Jimmy, Jimmy has been, yeah, Jimmy's been chucking his mod around the shop for months and it's still in one piece and it works. Fair enough. Mm. So. Next. Fair enough. Mm. Oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go next, if you like. Um, I've got a new pickup this week. I am using a Zeltu. Um, it is the poor man's Orion. Um... And inside this, somewhere I've got the bottom. You have an Orion though, don't you? Inside, no. inside that, inside that, you have incredible <laughs> magnets. Incredible <laughs> magnets, but I also have, uh, you can't see it because of the light, but that is Jeffrey's Cloudy Lemonade Salt. Ooh. Ooh. And that is lovely. Absolutely lovely. But yeah, the magnets wow. are amazing. Just click, click. Just, just the best thing ever. I cannot stop playing with it. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to make tricks up now with it. All sorts of shit. Honestly, love it. But um, yeah, it's a bit weird. It almost feels Tricky like that the mod is too powerful for its own pods. That is the one thing I'm noticing. Like, unless you've got a full pod, like you start to get down to like a quarter full, and you notice dry hits way quicker. Um, maybe that's an issue. I don't know. Um, I've also got my mini fit with more Jeffrey salts in it because I've been <laughs> trying them out this week. I've got the mint in there. Um, that needs filling, actually. And then I've got my, uh, my trusty Berserker. I haven't got anything cloudy on me at the moment, but uh, yeah, Berserker's got some Heisenberg 12 in it. So yeah, pretty, pretty happy. Pretty, And I'm loving this cell too at the moment. It's great. Battery life seems a bit shit, though, but the um, the, the vape's lovely. I picked mm. one of those up. I think it was in Manchester when we did the Manchester show. Um... <sighs> My, you know what I'm like with airflow. For me, it's far too airy. It's certainly not a. Um, I'm losing my pop. Um, it's certainly not a mouth to lung. Um, no, you're drinking I'm pop. Lung it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're drinking pop. Oh, you mean your pop filter? Pop filter, but yeah, I'm drinking pop. I mean, it handles Bloody direct hell. lung quite well. Just not massive rips. You have to be a bit slow with it. The oh, nice. shit noise. And uh, the, uh, the the liquid inside, the salt lemon, cloudy lemonade is is wonderful. Coming to a store. I have cloudy lemonade in the cupboard. It's actually really nice. Yeah, and the thing is, I didn't realise until probably about six months ago that like traditional actual lemonade is literally like lemons and sugar. I didn't realise it wasn't a carbonated yeah. thing. So a good a good dose of raw sugar stirred in. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Where have so you read that? <laughs> so when I was tasting this, I was like, oh, this tastes like lemon sherbet. And then I actually remembered, wait a sec, no, this tastes like actual lemonade, not like carbonated lemonade as we normally know it. And uh, yeah, loving it. I'm glad you approve. Chris! I do. Hello. What my vaping on? Yes. Yeah, that, what are you vaping on, dude? Yeah. Uh, I am... Billy Box. The Billy Box is back. Oh. Yeah, well, he was back last week. But I have been on the yeah. Orion when the coil died. The coil died. I went on to the Orion. That coil's died. Now I'm back on this. Um, yeah, it's just pure lack of effort on my part, really, just to get a new Orion pod. Um... But 
yeah, in this I have um, elderflower and apple, salt. Um, I've been sort of taste testing it the last sort of three or four days, and then uh, I've kind sure. of decided that the best flavour I've ever got. Am I still here? It looks like yeah, a little yeah. cat on full screen. Oh, I didn't know if it'd cut out. Um, yeah, so I've decided that the Orion flavour is nowhere near as good as the billet box. So I wanted to test the flavour in the billet box, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'll give you feedback in private. Not that that means it's bad feedback. It's just that no. that's not what the show's been. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... Uh, on the I'm, really, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm used to blowing the vape towards the dehumidifier, and now the camera's in front of it. So <laughs> I keep blowing vapor at the camera. You don't blow around. You'll have to you'll have to DVG the camera at some point. I might have yeah. a problem. It does, it does I think, it, a nice, a nice video I think it is a bit foggy, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, channel, what are you vaping on? Are you ready or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got, uh, I've got the <coughs> non-prize of the Swock species with the uh, uh, SMM on the top. And I've got my saver with the on the noisy cricket and i've actually got the same juice in there and i know I'm, we're probably going to review this but i can't help it uh, i got it yesterday from kaz kaz sent sent this to me Ooh, uh, it's it's called femme fatale the range is femme fatale and this one is is herbal mary is that the and weed one that's the this is the weird one. It's it, it's so weird. You sniff it, and it definitely smells a little. Does herb. it smell? Does it smell of the herb? It smells herby. <laughs> yeah, really, really herb. You sniff it and you're like, okay, what's the heart? Um, but but actually vaping it. It's it's ridiculously nice, and and the reason I was the reason I was building it is because I've mixed some up at nine milligram, and because uh, I thought that is gonna is gonna work quite well mouth to lung, and I've only taken about three puffs, but it's uh, it's 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 quite nice. It's it's another one of those flavors that is it's something completely different. It's got like rosemary and thyme flavors in it but it's got I'll, mint and i'll I'm have sure to send you my element chiba range that i've got or what i've got left of it what's in that like terpenes they use terpenes to flavor it oh, okay i'm not I, right it smells like it it doesn't taste like it right it, it tastes you say the whole terpenes the whole terpenes thing i think have put me off it's unique. I'll give you that. that is, yeah. Mm. Mm. So that herbal Mary, I, it was it was the one in the range that I looked at and went, oh, that looks that looks a bit. Uh. And it's the first one I've tried, and I actually haven't tried the others yet because I've just. And uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of two thirds of the yeah. way down already. Bloody hell! That's not, that's a hundred mil bottle, isn't it? Or is it 80 mil? Yes, when I mixed it up, yeah, it's a 80 mil, 80 mil short film. Um, mm. To be fair, I've got 30 mil, I've got 30 mil that I can use mouth to lung. Nice. Uh, that I took out as well. Um, so I'm just trying it mouth to lung, and probably got a review video coming up of the range at some point. So, uh, so there we go, Mark. What are you vaping on, mate? Uh, this evening, I am vaping on. I've got the Smokia um, with the saver hey. on top. Fucking Smokia. Um, with the saver on top. Um, in the saver, really I'm vaping. Hate. I do. Um, cream, yeah. soda, Nick Salts. Um, also on the Berserker. Um. On 12 milligram elderflower and apple, 
and for my cloudy setup, I'm running a series box with a 30 mil death trap, vaping on a uh, hot cross bun from Cotton and Cable. Nice. Ooh, nice. I've been trying to message Nadim and I think he's either blocked me or he's just ignoring me. Because I was speaking to him just before he's Christmas. Blocked, yeah. and... <laughs> I'm joking, I'll say it. He's blocked you. Um, I was speaking to him just before Christmas and I messaged him again and I've, I just haven't had any reply from him. <laughs> Mark ran away. Ooh. In the middle of he's his gone. hand check, he's gone. It's yep. like he's vaping on this and empty seats. Bye. Now we can just so see what, all the shit that's in the room. What, what else do we think he's vaping on? What else do we think he's vaping on? Well, he was going to be something squawking. else, Master Lung. Was he? Yeah, he was. Squawking? He be bothered. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't got his Orion out. I really want some um, cream soda Nick salts. Oh, my interest is peaked right now. <laughs> What's this on? The um, the uh, Nick cream cream soda Nick salts. Uh, my interest oh. is very peaked. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's, easy it's like you're about to just, like drop it into him. Yeah, don't yeah, that's like, to work. But the, go on, this try one, again. This try one. again. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Can you imagine if somehow yeah. this worked? Just like, boop. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I've dropped it. This is terrible. It bounced off my desk and now I can't find it. <laughs> oh. I'm actually good that didn't work. work. <laughs> no, yeah, it's gone. It has, you haven't got it, but neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I think everyone's going to be very impressed with this salt range. Um, it's it's good things oh, coming. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting through it quite quickly, to be honest with you. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing the shirt. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Jeffries will notice me and sponsor me. You never know. Yeah, we'll have to hope. Hopefully, uh, the bloke who makes it is watching. I hope so. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be yeah. good, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely not. No, in he hasn't got his he hasn't got his headphones on, so he didn't hear. No. Ah. We'll leave that in there in case he watches it back, which we know. Yeah, he yeah. He right. Won't. Considering Mark sabotaged his own hand check, um, should we move on to the? Should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, are you alive? Mark. No, he can't hear us. Hello. He can't hear us. I'm actually going to message him. Can't hear him. Are you broken? Mark. <laughs> 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 Bro? <laughs> he looks slightly confused. What happened there? I lost all audio. Oh. Everyone refresh. Why, have you lost audio as well? Uh, no, it just went black. Oh. Oh, mine didn't. No, I, I can still hear everything. Are we still are we still streaming? It says so. Hello. Hello. Do, do we Hello? still have everybody? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe so. I'm just gonna say, are we still live in the chat? I'm freezing my balls off, lads. Nice. <laughs> like genuinely... there we go, Chandler. Okay, yeah, we're good. How random. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, we Apologies were talking about you. We we were talk we were talking about you. So, yeah, probably best you didn't have your uh, audio. But I like that. I like uh, I like the fact we were saying that you were broken and and then and then I got booted out. I'm like, what? No, I got booted out. I as got well. I got booted out as well on my screen. Oh, we, we all got, got booted refreshed. Out. Oh. Okay. I I didn't think about refreshing uh, uh, quick enough. Ah. There we go. He's gone again. So. Moving on, I think it is time for the news. The news. The news. Bum, 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 bum. Um, it, I think it's also screen share time. Oh, let's do this bit. This is where right, we need. So, a, this is where we need like a, a jingle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've not we've not done um, Chrissy's saying hello to people that aren't here that might be here later on. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have we seen Mark skin, chat? Yes. No. Early on. Yeah. Early on, he was. What about John Martin? No, not seen John Martin yet. No. He usually or, joins uh, us when he's in the bath. Or um, oh, this, this... Paul from Sub Vapes. Yeah, let's say hello to them too. You want to kick it off with Paul? You alright, Paul? Yeah. How's it going? Hope you're watching this back and uh, enjoy. You probably right. John. Back. John. I'm going to go hope you've, hope you've not got your toe stuck up the bath tap like you had the other week. <laughs> and, and I've not had a photo of you in the bath for a couple of weeks, so um, I didn't know. No. If that, I didn't know if that was a euphemism, Chandler. Don't get your toe stuck <laughs> up the <laughs> up the tap. Well, yeah. Don't get your thumb stuck up your bum. No. <laughs> you, you guys should We've all switch. Been. You guys right, should switch. What about switch. future predictions? Future predictions. Chandler, what's going to happen in the news by next week? I've got a feeling that in the news this time next week, uh, they will definitely mention Brexit. They will definitely I... mention snow. I reckon Theresa May is going to be sacked. <laughs> Chris, Chris, we, we we broached this subject a few shows about shows ago, and like it was a, like a chat mutiny. So, <laughs> Ish, Ishne on the exit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, have you not seen? Have you not seen the news? Yes, but no one wants to talk about it. Just no, no, don't do I it. Haven't, I haven't. I haven't actually. I, I, since since the vote, I haven't got a clue. So uh, so so let's keep that as a surprise for when I finished. Yeah, no mentioning in the chat as to what's happened. You know, um, I, I, I'm assuming that that we've got a result already. No, no I'm too hoping, much already. I'm hoping that no. by the t this time next week, Chandler discovers prepackaged cotton that you don't need to boil. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down. He's, he's just found it. out about fire and the wheel. So. <laughs> Oh, and they've uh, got this new stuff that you can wrap round that, that's, that's Nicro. I'm like, what's this insanity? Mods go above 20 watts now, Chandler. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, Seriously? Ice Stick 20 is not the easiest device on the market to get. Oh, it's not. No, um, you've tried to get one. On. It's like I tried Give to get a replacement. Real Give us some real news, Casper. Right, so, yeah. um, in the world of completely ostentatious advertising, I found this, and I was quite interested by it. Well, I wasn't, but it looked interesting. So, give me a second. There we go. Ha ha. Um, a company <laughs> called VPZ, previously known as Vaporize, decided to project VPZ. Head. VPZ. Z. VPZ. What? Whoops. Um... <laughs> have risked the wrath of the Angel's creator and the council by using its wings to promote their new brand and products. So essentially they just projected their new device onto the back of the Angel of the North, which is hilarious. Um, uh, to elaborate they, further... Did... Sorry, go on. Didn't they also do it on a bridge and somewhere else? I think so, yeah. And, I couldn't and find and a on, decent article On the side of a building. But, but they didn't I get... Mean, but, don't get me wrong, points for originality, absolutely. But also, it looks yeah. like it's creased in the middle. Point, points for originality <laughs> until you read the article a bit and, and they start listing the companies that have done it already. <laughs> so we've, we've got this. They finished it with this. So you, got, you could save this much money by switching to vaping. That's three grand in your pocket. So we now know that the width of the Angel of the North is worth three grand. Um... <laughs> Anything less, and yeah, it's less but money. you can switch to vapor, and you're never going to have three grand in your pocket because there's always a new mod you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, so that's, that's nice. nice. You see, can you just yeah, can you zoom back in on Cass a second and keep that news article going, Cass? Yeah. Restaurant owned by former Newcastle United striker Craig Bellamy closes down. <laughs> what? <Awesome. laughs> Well, look, 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 what 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 this little white writing here is? You see this white writing underneath? That needs to say, as long as you don't take it seriously. Sorry, so, is it is this my eyes? Hold still, hold still. Where did I go? Uh, council accused of killing Newcastle's much-loved ginger market. 
Granger Market. Granger. <laughs> it, it, it's it's tiny on my screen. Sorry, Cass. It sounds so much better. It does, doesn't right, it? So, <laughs> yeah. Just when they right, sell people, people like Cass as cattle. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, right. God. So basically, what they're saying is that the uh, there was a clause agreed when they made it or built it in 1994, uh, refusing no wait yeah uh, in 1994 refusing permission to light the angel. So the artist is getting pissed off that this has been used as a um, used as an advertising billboard. Now in 2016, Brexit campaign. Oh, for God's sake! Projected <laughs> a brash slogan: <laughs> "Vote Leave, Take Control." Um, we've also got Morrison's beamed a baguette onto the back of it, which is hilarious. Here's the bridge you were talking about, Chandler. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right, so that, you know, there it is. There it is. Um, and no permission was given for these projections or the use of the council owned land. We were not aware this was taking place no and we were not shit. involved in any way. So, yeah, everyone's. You know what? What it, a load of. Bollocks. What a load of bollocks. How can you stop someone from projecting something onto something? But right. a friend of mine got put in prison for shining a laser pen on an aircraft. It's yeah, that's the same. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not too sure about the, the friend uh, of mine. <laughs> that's true as well. It's a true story. Speaking this, for a friend. Oh, okay. Is this like ask it, asking for a friend? No, genuinely. <laughs> yeah. He shined a... A laser pen on a police helicopter and got put in prison for six months. Oh. Incredible. <laughs> Is that oh, Chris? That's genuinely. Gen Chris, you know how you've not been on the show for the past six months? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see my new laser pen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. it's, it's attached to this new mod that I bought. <laughs> yeah, it's a police helicopter. It's a, please tell me it's not the Zomo laser. <laughs> oh my god, how did you guess? <laughs> right, so you know, the next I, I, thing... I, go yeah. on. Sorry, right, carry on. Right, so the, the next thing, I, I despise the mail, but this was the only article I could find on it. So supposedly, in the States... Oh, for God's sake, adverts, go away. <laughs> um, it, it'll disappear. Even when you close the advert, it doesn't go away. Right, so this teen's four-pod-a-day jewel addiction drove him to sell his clothes... <laughs> For a hundred and fifty dollar a week <laughs> habit, and gave him a seizure. Now, gave him a seizure because yeah. he was cold. Got hang, no on, hang on, hang uh, on. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Right. So basically, what? because Daily Mail, they they repeat themselves clothes, about ten what times. What clothes was he wearing? Apparently what none. He was sold he them all. Yeah, well, no. But what was he wearing before he sold them? Because, uh, like. Everything I wear on a daily basis, I wouldn't be able to give away second hand, let alone sell, not because there's many people my size, but um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to sell them for anything. Well, well, the you gotta, you're he missing wearing? the point here. Who can vape four dual pods a day? I mean, I vape one all day and I got through one pod. To be fair, I sat down to test it, I got through a whole pod in about 25 minutes. Mm. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> Bloody hell, so fire. anyway. This, this Going on those figures, that's you... 48 a day. <laughs> You're going to have a seizure. <laughs> I, hope this, I, think, <laughs> I, I hope this kid's got a wholesale account. Well, he's 15, <laughs> firstly. So cut this kid's cost. 15. That'll cut his costs. Um, he made <laughs> four, four jewel pods a day, costing $150 a week. He said his, parent, his parents said his grades slipped, lost interest in activities, and had violent outbursts. Uh, and then obviously they had this little treat in here. E-cigarette users increased amongst teens from 1.5% to 15%. Uh, in, in 2011, when only 2% of the population knew what a fucking vape was. Exactly. Exactly. So, notice his classmates were using the popular e-cigarette and he wanted to fit in. Within months, he was addicted. No shit, it's nicotine. Um, <laughs> finally, <laughs> in summer 2018, the 15-year-old suffered a seizure, which forced his parents to recognise the seriousness of his addiction and find a treatment centre. Here he is. What an upstanding lad. Um, in high I, bet, I bet before... Sorry, I'm just... I bet before dual pods, the cup was addicted to dive pods. <laughs> 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 I remember that. <laughs> Oh dear. This is the bit that they could not resist sticking in. And I found. Where is it? 
They found this little thing in here. Uh, oh, they just absolutely had to put it in here. I think here everyone go. just Bells. got. Did everyone just get the chime from Ronnie? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Time for the Ronnie Not show. Yet. Oh, do we have to? Honestly, that man is filth. Oh, complete and total. Uh, I'm gonna turn my audio off. What? Oh yeah, that would be that would be a I good can't idea. Even tell what that is. It's a mammoth like penis with fireworks. <laughs> <gasps> oh, 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 oh! I haven't got it yet. If it's making Mark, I'm not even gonna look. I'm, I'm just not gonna even. Put it in the group there. chat. No. <laughs> in group chat. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh. Cheers, Ronnie. As uh, always, uh, thank you. Yeah. What are you, sh what, what are you sharing, I Cass? Watched it, but this i was sharing chat but now it's this so uh, um what i was going to say is the last little bit that they couldn't resist getting in there is it says it has a sleek little usb like design and comes in several flavors which experts say are marketed towards teens and can fuel a tobacco addiction yawn which experts which, which oh, someone experts, says don't exactly. move the page because they're looking at the yeah keith keith's looking at the uh, the last in the orange bikini yeah lauren <laughs> gudger displays her voluptuous derriere in sizzling new shoot there we go Nice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Fine. So, yeah, um, that's pretty good. I've also... We've got a new release mod, which made me go, what the what the fuck is this? Um, has anyone heard of RevTech? Yes. RevTech? Uh, yeah, mm. I believe so. Yeah, so they Vaguely. released this monstrosity. <laughs> uh, so I saw that at Expo. Right, 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 right. As much as we're going to, as sorry, I rephrase that. As much as you're going to sit and slag this off, keep scrolling down. Please tell me it's got a speaker built into it. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Has it got a laser built into it? No, keep, keep going. going. Oh. Keep multi going. Multicolored. Keep going. Keep oh, multicolored light. Keep going. I like that. Scroll up. Ooh. I keep like on. that. So it remembers my PIN number. When I go to an ATM, I don't have to remember my PIN number. I love that idea. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant idea. But what's amazing about this, right, is it, like at least six out of eight of these screens are all about the dashboards. Bigger memory for dashboards with swag. With That's swag. It. Swag. swag. It's got okay. 32 megabytes of onboard memory for storing more high-res dashboards. Swag. Hang on. Sorry, sorry. But... I'm just going back to. I'm just going back to swag. All I, all I remember, all like, all that brings to mind when I think of swag is, is like the Beano, where there's a burglar with a, with a <laughs> sack over his back. <laughs> swag just, just, on it. Uh, just read that mm. blue text in the top, Gas. Pimp your vape, good old rev style. <laughs> good old rev style. <laughs> Oh, is that yeah. is that not the worst <laughs> tagline you've ever heard in your life? It just looks like Ferrari had a wet dream with a fucking mod. Like, what is going on? I've with seen this? car keys. I've seen fancy like uh, concept car keys that look like that. Brilliant. I, right, hang on, hang on. Michael Michael Donahue's getting excited. He saw the word vibration. Oh. <laughs> What's built-in built vibration, vibration motor is activated whenever you take a draw. Vibration. That's going to feel lovely, rattling your fucking teeth with a metal drip tip, isn't it? You know, you know when you accidentally bite down on the. Here we go. You know when you accidentally bite bite down on a fucking electric toothbrush. Ah shit. So yeah, this. They 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 talk about if you scroll down, and again. Light up your... Like you scroll up, have... scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Seems like you two have, have spent a lot of time in looking at this. Light yeah. your... Light your fire. Customizable oh, LED like around... around Customizable LED oh, around this... oversized fire button. Literally, you will light your fire. You will light your leg on fire with an oversized button of that size. You put that in your pocket. Gone. Mm, I just love that chipsets are now like... So you got 0 0.002 uh, second fire, complete set of output modes, all round protection, and upgradable firmware. You know, what's new about any of this, other than that the graphics well, are quite pretty? 
And it's actually got <laughs> chips, uh, like that chip set is to scale, isn't it? The mod's going to be the size of your, <laughs> a fucking house brick. It, it's like mm -hmm. when they it's released that first, they released that first uh, Motorola phone with the air room you pulled up and it weighed like three and a half kilo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but the, the, the thing is, nice the marketing stealth used, mode is always nice new. Yeah, but isn't it nice Wait. they've used an optimized chip rather than use the uh, the old chip that was completely not optimized for anything and was really go back a sec. Oh, no, no, the other way. That? Press the M button three times to turn the screen on. Well, the button I see, well, it looks like it's got an R on it. To be honest, where's the M? I think it's this one here. I think it's this little round one. That's probably the mode button. Press, ah. You've got to press that three times before your screen comes on. Yeah, there are nine colours. Can you imagine can you Imagine if you had an iPhone and you had to press the button three times to unlock it? It's not even 21700 compatible. What's that about? What? There we go. It's, it's a proper mod. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. You're calling and, that, that proper mod? That's that's most of the news. Now, I did have a load more news planned. But I'm going to save that for <laughs> wait another a sec, Wait a sec. Is it just me, or does that um, the little thumbnails look like a gear best advert? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Quite a lot. Um, yeah, I I've seen an interesting article that's been shared. I'm not sure whether you guys have uh, covered this on when I've not been here. Let me just share it. Air sampling confirms second-hand vapor is harmless. Yeah, that was back oh, in yeah. May. That was May 2017, Chris. We did that about a year ago. Oh, did we? Yeah. It's just doing the rounds again. It's doing the rounds yeah, again. Doing the rounds again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Say bye to that. But it is such a good article. It is worth mentioning twice. Yeah, because it's just as yeah, relevant then as it is now. It, yeah, it's it's important to mention that one twice. I think. Hmm. Does anyone? Michael's just made a good point though. The tank looks wank. Does anyone feel that these companies, they make a, a fairly decent mod, and then the tank is just an afterthought to sell it as a kit? I mean, that's been Wizmex yeah, model for years, right? <laughs> right. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think too much about the tank until I saw the orange one, and then I just went, "Oh, that looks shit." Uh, so I don't know whether it was just the orange one, the orange color that just looks. Awful. Hmm. So yeah, that, that is my news for the week. Um, yeah. Do you want Do you want to do your 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 main feature cast so we can bring uh, Rich in to my main feature? I thought I wasn't I wasn't going to do that until next week, maybe. Oh. Wait, am I looking at the wrong thing? Uh, top of the news list. Oh. Right, so I don't know if anyone's seen lately. Um, there's been a lot of drama in the uh, in the social slash reviewing industry. Uh, drama, drama in the vape industry. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but specifically between two people or one v v three. Now we discussed this a little bit just before Christmas. Um, but what's happening is we've got a load of drama going on, and they cannot. They just cannot stop calling each other out about it and using their own live streams as clickbaity bullshit to bring in viewers. Now, if basically, if you want the backstory, is that everyone has accused Vaping Vinny of buying subs. Those people are, and I will name who they are because they know what they've done. Uh, we've got Mr. Vaping with Vic, we've got TVP, and we've got Empire Vape Co. All three of those guys have basically come out and said Vaping Vinny is buying his subs. Vaping Vinny then put a video out saying I didn't buy my subs but I'm not mentioning who's been telling me that I have been. Um, then th a load of other guys go on and say actually no he's still buying his subs yada yada yada. Then we had the big YouTube cull where he lost like 3,000 subs and then Vaping Vinny decided to put out a juice review which was half juice review and half clickbait and unfortunately it dramatically backfired on him because the chat turned on him. Vaping with Vic turned up in the chat, started slagging off all of Vaping Vinny's viewers. It was just a complete dramatic clusterfuck, and it spread throughout <laughs> Facebook and Instagram, all sorts of things. And it's absolutely hilarious. Now, if 
either one of those sides had just left it, it would have stopped. That would have been it. But yeah, so off the back of that, Rich, do you find that you get much of this in your neck of the woods as far as social media goes? Um, <clears throat> sometimes we do. I mean, Choo Choo Vapors, we've gone from strength to strength, and we are going from strength to strength. Um, we get, we're one of the most active groups on Facebook. Um, and in the last few months, we've taken on board a raft of sponsors, big sponsors as well, uh, mm -hmm. because I've seen how active we actually are. Yeah. Um, me, myself, um, I've been part of the Choo Choo now for about three and a bit months. And I've only been vaping about four months. So, mm -hmm. um, but I, I love it there. I mean, um, I've recently been doing reviews, um, recently doing live reviews as well. That's my first foray into that. Um, yeah. But no, I love it. I mean, I tend to get really good um, support from everyone in the group. And I don't tend to... I tend to try and steer clear of the politics and the bullshit because i just got no time for it, really. I just Fair can't enough. be doing with it. How do you guys deal with drama? Uh, we squash it as quick as... Well, we squash it as best we can, basically. We just try and manage it. Um, if, we've got, if we're going to have... If we get drama... Um, on the group, um, like I say, we'll speak to the people involved and we'll just say that, come and just like, act like adults, please. We are adults, we all vape, this is a community, or it's supposed to be. Um, and basically, I just think that less drama, more happiness. What did I miss? Everything. Less drama, more happiness. <laughs> if there was yeah. less drama, then it just everyone vapes we all vape uh, I don't see the need for the drama personally I just don't no, um, sure. I mean, mm. no, you're, you're right I mean I was talking to a bloke from UK labs and he was saying that they they actually try and stay out of that sort of thing as much as possible and the guy came up with a really good opinion on this he said basically if your product is good you don't need to base your advertising off the back of dramatics and feuds and all that bullshit because at the end of the day once all that drama is gone if you have, if that's what you've based it off of, then you've got nothing left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've done um, juice reviews. I always my, my reviews are always honest. Um, if I don't like a juice, I I will be completely honest. I mean, the other night I did a, a live on Choo Choo, I actually reviewed a couple of Jeffrey's um, juices. I've reviewed, um, I think it was Daiquiri and Bramble from their cocktail range. Uh, to me, the Daiquiri you could definitely taste what was in there and uh, it was really quite tasty but not to my taste and I was completely honest about that but the Bramble on the other hand absolutely amazing and uh, yeah I, I still I, I trickle I, I tend to rotate my juices um, so but I'll be honest um, if, if I don't like a juice I will be honest I'm not one of these people who will blow smoke up your ass just because you give me a juice to review I don't see the point in it no, You're asking for my opinion on a juice. I'll give you my opinion. So like the big. the root beer, I think I think the I think the root beer is absolutely spot on, and it and it tastes exactly like root beer. Oh yeah, I it just does. don't like root, I just don't like root beer. No, that's that's fair. Um, the, um, taste is. is is a very subjective. It's very personal. Uh, what mm. one person loves, the next person will be like, no thanks, don't like that. But that's yeah. why. With so many flavours on the market, you'll be hard pressed to find something you don't like, and that is that is the case. A hundred percent. Oh, I never had. I love root beer. Because I saw um, who who was the guy that did the? Was it like cream soda? And he did something else. I watched the review. Uh, uh, that was me. That wasn't you. It was someone else. I was can't it me? Name. It was a different, yeah, different one. Anyway, carry on. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not naming. I'm not. I'm not going to out who it was, but it wasn't. It wasn't this particular group. Oh, okay. I know. No, no, I know. No, no, no. I definitely saw. I definitely saw a review. A Choo Choo Vapors review. Not the one you were thinking of. No, I know. I know that. That was a different one. Um, I did the review on cream soda, root beer, and iron brew. Oh. That was my so first live. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Was there anyone else on your group that did a review of the Jeffrey stuff, though? 
Uh, yes, uh, Dan. He did uh, Apple and Elderflower. That's um, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. I can't remember uh, which other ones he got. I think he got um, was it orange soda and Dan Gone and Burdock maybe. Do you uh, find you get much interaction through the Facebook reviews? Uh, yes, yeah, I do. Um, we've, uh, well, I think um, one of my friends was watching my review Friday night, and he actually came on the review and said, "Hang on a minute, there's a root beer juice," and I actually. He, because um, I mentioned it um, while I was doing my review, and he actually um, is. I think he's looking into ordering himself some because he's he likes root beer as well. So yeah, I mean he's actually living in Spain at the moment, and he didn't know there you get root beer juice. So yeah, we get we get quite a lot of positive interaction through it. I find anyway. How many members do you have? Uh, just shy of 5k. Let's, let's see if we can make that 5k now. If you get yourself over to <coughs> Choo Choo Vapors, C H O O, Choo Choo Vapors, uh, get yourself subscribed, give them a follow. And there we go. And I go, not Choo Choo. Two words. Choo Choo, one word. Two words. Uh, no, it's the Choo Choo, it's uh, two separate words Choo Choo Vapors. I'm looking at your header, and you guys have got a lot of sponsors. Uh, yeah, but that's filled up dramatically in the last two and a half, three months. Bloody hell. <laughs> wow, fair enough. But I think, it's, wrote we're, your I, I think it's mainly because we're an active group. Do you think that's a lot of your success? Your... Sorry, go on, Chris. Whoever wrote... Whoever wrote your email to them companies is shit hot with words. <laughs> <laughs> Chan, uh, Cass, you've 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 ca you've oh. spudded you spudded out. <laughs> in a, in a <laughs> game. There we go. That was weird. I'll, I'll, sp I'll sponsor your group if you give me a bigger section than anyone else. <laughs> right over the train. Yeah, I'll, yeah, that worked. Uh, Mark Mark Elliott in the chat has just said, uh, "Is there hardware reviews on the group?" Um, I'm not into juice reviews. Um, we're we're taking up. We've actually started taking on hardware um, sponsors, and we're now starting to have that come through. So there will be hardware reviews um, going up um, a lot more. Um, Dan's done. I believe he did in the uh, the Advocate Owl Tank recently. Um, but he'll be doing, but there'll be a lot more hardware reviews going up within like the coming months. Awesome. Yeah, because I'm keeping an yeah, eye on it. They're, so. not at, they're not quick at responding to requests, are they, your admin? <laughs> Bear with me, I'll have a look. <laughs> he, he sat, he sat <laughs> here, he sat here. <laughs> I'm sat here. <laughs> well, hang on. Blessing. I'm sitting here freezing my bullets off, trying to, trying to be nosy at the group, but I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tit Sauce change her name to Brit Sauce? I guess they must have done. Oh, okay. What, juice oh, sauce? I didn't know that. Yeah, no, Tit Sauce. No, tit Sauce, not Juice Sauce. Oh. Char M Mr. Demerk is, is, is set with his... Um... Well, we don't get... I've not seen Charlie for a while. No, nor have I. No, it was a, it was a, it was a expo. I'm sure I saw him at expo. He, he used to be in the chat every week. Hmm. I'm gonna have to give Mr. Demick a phone call. Mm. Wait, did you say his first name was Charlie? No, it's not. Yeah. I could never, <laughs> I could never remember his. Is when I first met him, now? when I first it's... met him two or three years ago. All I got was Demick in my head, and I could never remember his first name, so I always called him Charlie. From that, they actually got him a gold plaque for his door that said Charlie Demick. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and, and when I, whenever I've seen him at Expo, I've gone, Charlie, and he always looks up. Always. Yeah. Every single time. Amazing. Amazing. He looks like a... Um, he looks like a comedian. Who, oh, George? Yeah, I love George. Michael love needs to get himself over to my channel. Philip I think. Wong. 
Is it Philip Wong or Philip Wang? Never heard of her. It's a cross between uh, between them and uh, Jimmy, um, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Car. Car. That's the one. I'm still not in the fucking group. <laughs> oh. Chandler, oh, God, Chandler, Hello. Chandler, have you yes. got any spare wet wipes? Let Chris dry his tears. <laughs> yeah, all right, hang on. Have you, have you asked for a question in the, uh, in the right group? Because I can't see you on it. Uh, is it. You requested the right group. group. With, 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 with a little there. train and the London Underground. Fund. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll click join three times. Have you? Oh, you, you might be then. It's not on here, so I, was, I can only assume the uh, of Ratman are actually on the game. I've they've rejected they've me. Worked the out that you are in the yeah, they you might have been. Out. Did you ask? Did you answer the questions? Denied. <laughs> yeah, Denied. I've just done it again. I answered <laughs> the question. Again. Right, hang on. Let me refresh this. There we go. Um, on on my show, you I have got the next thing we've got is battery yeah, safety and is enough Ooh. being done it's a big subject who's responsible for batteries and safety and things do you know do you know i completely misheard what you said there kaz i thought you said badger safety yeah. and and i was thinking why what why is badger in peril i I'd suddenly got this this panic that badger was in peril and we needed to save badger so, cool. Yeah, I say okay. we call the badgers. Call the badgers. Oh no, no badger, badger safety, safety. We've got to, we've got to promote badger oh. safety. Badger yeah. safety. Anyway, yeah. whose responsibility is it? You, we, we're seeing more and more dickheads. Sorry, people with um, crazy, stupid ass builds, um, pulsing the fuck out of twenty amp pulse Quad limit sacks. batteries. Do you know what I mean? Who obviously more and more and more people are buying online now, you know. B and M bricks and mortars, I won't say they are dead, but they're dying. So more and more people are buying online. More and more people want sorry for you, Mark. Bear clouds, bro. Um and you know, I think battery safety is is sort of a second thought now. Um whose responsibility is it to ensure battery safety? You know, there's enough organisations out there. You know, you've got the likes of Mooch um, that's working his hardest um, to test and give good advice on the batteries that are available. <laughs> but whose responsibility is it? Is it is it the retailers? Is it what 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 do we do? I think, I what, think, what can I we think, do? I think retailers have got duty of care to make sure that the people they're selling the batteries to at least have the information available to them to know what battery safety is um it's i mean but the thing is but, is go on I, th I think that doesn't have to apply to people that only sell batteries but if they sell if it's a company that sells batteries for any device they're going to have uh, <clears throat> some sort of spreadsheet that explains the information but it's it's kind of hard to police over the internet i understand for those retailers that sell in vape gear you, you can say to them, well, I wouldn't, you wouldn't sell someone a vape pen without showing them how to set it up. You wouldn't sell someone e-liquid without assessing whether they need X strength or Y strength. So why would you sell them batteries without telling them these are high discharge batteries that you can't treat them like double A's? Do you know what I mean? It's just, it, it's common sense. I think, I think a big issue though is when you've got batteries that are saying on the side of them what they supposedly are and then they're actually not i mean should there be some kind of regulation in place that where, where you have to test e-liquid to make you sure you know what's in it batteries also have to be tested because you get a lot of these batteries that are 40 amp 9000 mile batteries and actually they've just come out of someone's torch yeah but they're, they're sold as that uh to bigger industries they're sold like that to tesla they're sold like that to uh, to PC and laptop manufacturers, they're, they're sold like that. And, and the collective mar of a battery or the collective amp limit of a battery doesn't really apply to the normal use of those batteries. It's only us as vapors that have adopted these batteries and used them to spit out 20, 25, 30 amps. 
they're not used for that on a, a regular basis they're used to just putting out a, a, like a low current so <clears throat> the longevity of the battery the battery life how how many cycles you get out of it are all going to be a lot uh, a lot more on a battery that's conventionally used for a laptop yeah, you're going sure. to get I think all 50, 50 to 100 times the cycles you'd get of a normal 18650 mm. that's been drained from 4.2 volts to 3.4 volts twice a day for its entirety of its life. Hmm. I think you know, it's a quick is, drain process. Yeah, I think what doesn't help is that none of the battery companies will have anything publicly to do with vaping. Pretty no. much. A lot of them, that, that's the thing. They that they Samsung uh, refused to wholesale to people that own vaping companies. They've so, only been, Sony's, been wholesale Sony, to wholesalers. Sony's completely well, stopped, haven't they? Yeah, they stopped manufacturing the batteries because they they disagreed with the, what they were being used for. I think uh, it's partly that, and partly because they were sort of almost like their sales dipped so much as well because there were so many different batteries coming on the market the sony um is it vtcrs vtc 5a's uh, vtc 5a's they had some uh whatever they originally come out with the vtc's um they did the vtc4 was yeah. the first they did the five then the 5a the six the 6a yeah so, do you know what I mean? They, they had uh, stiff competition coming in from every other battery manufacturer. And then they weren't making appearances at shows like people like EFEST do. So, the market was being more and more saturated with more and more battery makers. Yes. So, I think their time of being the lead, you know, the front runner in, in the uh, sales arena. They, they just became another battery seller. Obviously, being relatively new to the industry, Rich, um, what what are your thoughts um, and your opinions based on battery safety? Um, my opinion on battery safety is um, I I tend to do a lot of research. I look on the internet, um, and also um, I've learned a lot from my local B and M store. Um, become really good friends with um, the guys who work in there. Um, and basically if i have any issues or have any needs they'll run me through it no time at all it is down to, as i'm seeing in the in the chat on on from the feed uh, people are saying it's down to the end user yes it is down to us um we're the ones who are putting the batteries in our devices and we should know how they work if there's any nicks or anything in the um the sleeves then they should be replaced um because you see reports of um, people using bad batteries and devices blown up in their faces or in their pockets. Um, so yeah, the, people the, do have people. a responsibility to know what they're doing. But, because but the, the, day, the, the, yeah. don't know the issue I have, the, the issue I have with making battery retail uh, manufacturers put out public messages or public. Uh, information about it is the same way that I don't expect to have a booklet come with a bottle of white spirit that has all of the different complications and all of the different problems that might happen if you drink it. It's available, it's online, but they don't supply it because they don't expect people to drink it. The yeah, same but way, some people I don't do though, because people... they're yeah, yeah. that's because they're idiots. Mm. The, the fact of the matter is, I wouldn't drive a car until I knew how to drive, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't fly a plane unless I knew how to fly a plane. The fact is, but if you don't know, hang how on, to hang on, hang on, hang on. You could, you could go out what? and buy a plane without, without proving that you could fly or anything else. So, who is the onus on? Yeah. Who is the onus on to make sure you can fly that plane before you, you take gun. it into the? You can buy yeah? a gun. It's not on the the gun retailer to make sure you're not a fucking well, psychopath. It is. It, it, no, you have it, to show it, it, a license. Yeah, no, no, but that's not that's not the point. Um, everyone <laughs> is guilty of a crime. Everyone, no, no, listen, listen, listen to me. Everyone's going to be of guilt, guilt, going to have been guilty of a crime that they've not been caught committing. 
everyone's going to have done something illegal that they haven't been punished for. Just because you've got a clean license doesn't mean you've got a clean history. The fact is that anything on paper, it means absolutely fuck all past the minute it's written. The minute it's written, like a police background check, it says this person's not committed any crimes. No, this person's not been caught committing any crimes. And the same way, you could go out and murder someone on the same day you you actually get a gun license and you've had a completely clean criminal history. So actually, the onus, the, the whole the whole process you have to go through to get a gun is just pointless. The same way the whole process you have to go through to get a CRB check is pointless. If you could make a phone call and say, like the police, if you do something wrong and they catch you speed and they can call up a number and give them your reg plate and it tells you whether you're insured and whether you've got MOT. The same way care industry should be able to call up a, a, a number, say someone's name and date of birth, and then tell them whether they've got a criminal record or not. And that would save three, four weeks every time you recruit someone. But they don't do it like that because they're fucking assholes. Chris, Chris, you should know that CRB doesn't exist anymore. It's now DBS. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> it's it's, it's not. Uh, and barring no, it's not. It's, it's Disclosure Scotland. Yeah. But the, the thing is, is that, you know, you wouldn't drive a car unless you knew how to drive a car. Yet with batteries, if people shouldn't use batteries until they know battery safety, why is it we still see hundreds of posts every day? Are these batteries safe to use? And they've got no wraps on them or they've cut them in half or some shit. <laughs> I love, you know, I, I love the way, you know, when, you know, when they say when you when you're involved with something all the time, you become um, not what's the word you become complacent with it you know like you know what yeah. i mean huh what's the word desensitized desensitized that's the one yeah, that's yeah. the one so when when you're exposed say you're a trainee electrician and you're exposed to the dangers of electricity you're exposed to or, or someone you know has touched a pylon or something mad's happened in your life i think you don't take for granted so much the power of electricity um that's why you know the general consumers only ever grown up with batteries that you can chuck in a drawer with with your change and 50 other batteries and nothing happens and so the fact of the matter is that how, that's how people have got so they're desensitized to the power of electricity because they never have to deal with it people that have been exposed to like like electric shocks or something like that they'll take it more seriously in my opinion the same way if your house has flooded before you'd know to buy house insurance. If you've dropped your phone in the past and smashed it and it wasn't insured, you probably have insurance now. And it's, it's just a, a psychological thing. People don't understand the dangers of the batteries. So what and, do we have to that, do to it. make sure that people... Because, you know, not knowing isn't, isn't the problem. It's knowing and still ignoring it. So what do we do to make people more aware of the battery safety um, so that these... We share posts. We share posts like Mooch's. And that, that's exactly what you need to do. The fact the fact is, if you share these videos of batteries blowing up, it's going to scare more people away from vaping than it is make people want to do research. You know, but if you're sharing this stuff so the information's freely available all the time, then people can see it and they'll be like, actually, that says ohm and what? And, oh, that's what I'm doing. I need to do this to make this. Oh, that makes sense. But, do you know what I mean? But. So, I think it, it's going to take for someone to lose a limb, to burn their leg, to set fire to their cat, to to re rewick their 007 build um, on their on their Samsung 25Rs, um, to hard short, to to experience thermal runaway, for them to go. You know what? Maybe I am a dick. Maybe I should have been thinking. Unfortunately, it's going to take for something like that to happen. For yeah, most absolutely. most of these people in these groups banned in their 006, 007 builds, I, yeah, I, I got I, looking, looking back, I actually scare myself how I was when I first started vaping five, five, six years ago. You know, I'd, I'd, I got point two builds on series boxes and I, I was doing ridiculously stupid things. How how on earth I wasn't hurt, maimed, or mutilated, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Mm. See, and I, I used to be quite bad myself, but um, I was always relatively cautious about what I did. Because, I, I mean, I got electrocuted by a TV when I was about 13 or something. Do you remember them big fat back bellies? 
first, first time I was allowed a TV in my room and it was broken and that's why I was allowed it. The, the whole back was cracked and after pressing the buttons like after a week or so, the board would slide back inside and the buttons would no longer reach. <laughs> so one day I used to unplug it, move it forward and then, uh, you know, you could use the buttons again. So one day I forgot to unplug the fucking thing and I shoved my hand <laughs> in right on this fucking live circuit board and it blew me across the room. <laughs> So, so you 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 have shaken hands with the CRT then? I fucking changed my heartbeat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like for instance, people like you, Rich, could could be pioneering in this aspect. You could take the fact that you've got two and a half thousand active members or whatever, and or whatever it is, and you could change your group picture for a week. Just to raise awareness. We do. To, to move we do. We up. do have um, at the moment. We have. Uh, we've implemented a thing recently called um, hashtag True Teaching. Now we um, we keep we will we post. Um, battery safety is um, featuring quite heavily with all this in Ohm's Law, and we're posting infographics um, about um, safety aspects of vaping and battery safety, etc. So we are actually doing that. At the moment, yeah. I, I think as well, like when it, I think the scariest thing for me is when a customer comes in and they go, "Yeah, my mate gave me this mod," and they pull out a four battery mod, and I'm like, "Oh God, what are the batteries going to be like inside?" And you pull them out, and they've already half vented as it is, or they're leaking or some shit. And it's at that yeah. point that you have to you have to educate them a little bit. But when it's it's so easy when you're selling a new product to someone that necessarily hasn't used these batteries before, just to give them a brief overview. You know, don't put them in your pocket. I don't leave ch loose change I've, line around. I've bought a, a packet of like 250 battery wraps. There's about 18, 20, about about 35 left, I'd say, and yeah. uh, I've only used about 10 of them. <laughs> Every time someone wow. comes around my fucking house, sorry, I'm so cold, my nose is running. Um, Have you been using them as condoms, Chris? <laughs> um, yeah. So every time someone yeah. comes around my house, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, yeah, every time someone comes my around my house, they've they've got a mod. There's something to do with vaping, and uh, every single battery I see is just absolutely atrocious. So I give him like a handful and I rewrap the batteries for him and show him what to do. And I'm like, that's what you need to do all the time. I mean, I heard a fairly scary story about a uh, shop near where I am. And um customer came in. He says, have you got these batteries? And I just went, no, sorry, I haven't got any in stock. And he goes, thank God you gave me a straight answer. He goes, I've just been on the phone to this other shop for 15 minutes. I asked for 2700s and the person on the end of the phone went, well, I've got green ones and I've got purple ones. And he went, yeah, but that's not what I'm asking for. And she goes, no, 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 it's okay. They're, they're 3,000 they're 3, ma. And he's like, no, 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 we're talking about a physical size difference here. She goes, well, we've got green ones and we've got purple ones. That's what we got. And it's like, you cannot be doing that shit. <laughs> well, to be honest, if we've got green ones and we've got purple ones, I probably know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, but you would. But the, the fact that she or he seems to what think... What I want to know... <laughs> What I want to know more, more than anything about that situation is why your mate stayed on the phone for 15 more minutes <laughs> after working out the Because he was educating not, I, this person on the difference between 2700s and 18650s. Like, what I want I to know how many, people, how many people in here and in the chat remember and don't give the answer away. Remember when um, 25Rs weren't green? Yeah, oh. I've got some. Yeah. I've got some. I've got some somewhere. Ch My 25Rs are green. Yeah, they didn't used to be. Check these, check these bad boys out. 25Rs used to be blue. Oh, nice. Yep. I yeah. don't know if that's in focus. Can you see that? Hang on, that's... Uh, no. I can see the battery. Oh, there we go. Twenty-five R. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. But yeah. Th this is it. It's a, I think, like you said, it, it, you at the very least expect the vape shop to be able to tell the difference between a twenty-seven hundred and an eighteen-six fifty. Other than the fact that they're called different things, and one is sizably bigger than the other, um, 
it was, it was just, it's just scary. So I, I always sort of get a little bit, a little bit nipped up when uh, someone comes. Yeah, I've, my, I bought these batteries off my mate. But um, who how, it, how can my... you not? How can you not tell the difference? Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, Keith, Keith made a really good point in the chat, right? He says, when I first started vaping, everything was at two ohms. I think the trouble is now you see 0.1 ohm coils everywhere for sale. New vapors haven't been through the learning process. You can buy really low resistance coils without ever having to learn to build. Correct. And, do, and, and, and what happens if you stick that on a single cell bat uh, a single cell mod? Exactly. You can buy fucking aliens that come out at 0 0.09 or 1 ohm um, or 0 0.1 ohm. Um, and have never have built in your life before, and then you wonder why it vents or gets really hot. As soon as you put, as soon as you put it, and it's, it, they're okay in a double in a dual cell battery, because uh, uh, I, I checked this out. I, I mentioned it a few weeks back. Mooch shows you how to work out the uh, the ratings on a regulated box. So on a dual, on I a remember dual battery, first... it should be fine. But on a you stick, a, you stick a, one of the new, um, I don't know, Falcon Horizons or the the new Baby Beast uh, with a point one coil on a single cell mod. All of a sudden, you're in scary territory. Straight yeah. away. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm running a point one build on a twenty one seven hundred, and I think I'm just within the amp limit. I think I can't. I can't remember what the amp limit on that specific battery is. It depends what brand I've got in there at the moment. But um, you know, it, it's not hard to go and do it. And I mean, I, I, I had a, a customer in the other day, a little old lady. She was using a single battery regulated mod, and she had a little purse thing. And she goes, "Oh, I'm thinking about getting this battery. Um, can you check how charged it is for me?" And I said, um, "I said, is there any other metal in there?" And she was like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. And I was like, "Okay, here we go." And she goes, I don't know whether this one works or not. The dog chewed it. And it's literally got giant teeth dents in it. Missing half of its wrap. I'm just like, <laughs> I said, do, do you mind if I bin this for you? Oh, why is that? I said, well. And, and just, I don't, you know, I wasn't patronizing about it, but I did give her an explanation. She goes, okay, well, you know, at least I was lucky. And I said, yeah, you were really lucky. I have a dude that's still got a limp from a battery that went off in his pocket. You know? And he will tell people whilst he's in the shop, don't be an idiot with it. I was. Hmm. So when I first started getting into drippers, now bearing in mind four years ago today, I put up a post about a Doge V2 that was coming out. Nice. That I was really excited about. So I was already dripping four years ago at this point. But there was a there was an RDA out, and I'm hoping chat will be able to help me remember. It was about 28 or 30 mil. And it had really tiny air holes, but it had enough space for four coils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I can't remember what it's called. Well, that was my, one of my first drippers. It was 28 mil, and I used to stick it on a Nemesis clone, right? This was about five years ago. Um, I used to stick this 28 mil dripper with four coils in it on a Nautilus. Now, imagine if pre-built coils were out back then. You'd have a set that are like 0.1 ohm each. And then you'd, I'd be splitting it between four coils and then using it on a single mech, single battery mech. Yeah. I remember, um, I think it was one of the first expos I went to. Um, no, vape jams. One of the first vape jams. Someone had been using a clone noisy cricket, um, dropped their battery in the wrong way, and it had um, vented, launched out, and set someone's T-shirt on fire. And they'd, um, they'd banned um, crickets for the rest of the weekend. I'm pretty sure that that was the Dan Littleworth story. Um, do you remember that, Chris? Da I'm sure it was What's Dan up? Littleworth from Flatwire. He bought a uh, the Goon when it first came out. And when he put the cap on, it created a hard short. And it blew <gasps> the RDA. Blew the RDA. Oh, up yeah, yeah. The, the second it touched it, it just blew up into the rafters. Yeah, Mark, oh, this is bringing us back. Cherry Bomber. Cherry Bomber. One. Give me a second. Give me a second. The cherry bomber, where you you set it, set it down on anything metal and it will fire. <laughs> really? It, yeah, you never seen the cherry bomber series no. box. Dangerous as fuck, and Is ironically named. Uh, I'm cherry. sure you'll find them. Oh. <gasps> Honest to God, if you if you put the cherry bomber in your pocket with keys or chains, it would fire. <gasps> oh, oh my God! The cherry bomber. 
brutal. I'm I'm hoping Cass can find one and demonstrate. I'm not sure if he'll have a series build built, but I've got a I've got a cherry bomb here somewhere. Oh Where look, you've got really? a powder you've got a powder coated one. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. I've right, got a real so, one somewhere. Firstly, I spent more time cleaning the contacts on this thing than I spent vaping it. Um because there's quite a lot of contacts inside that. Now this is a parallel box. This isn't a series. Um, but it's literally inside there you've got that right you've got this button right if I want to fire it I just do that and that'll fire it <laughs> right there is a spring in there so you somewhere so you literally now, just, just do that and it fires yeah you don't even have to tip it and it'll fire now there's a supposedly a lock on this button right which you twist it you twist it right but the lock is slanted, so as you push it in, it unlocks itself and fires. <laughs> now, I think the issue would be fixed with this if I put, like, the stiffest spring imaginable in it. I think that would make a difference, because this spring has actually got worse over time. When I first bought this, it was lovely. It worked really well, and it did actually, it didn't auto-fire when you turned it on its side. Um, now it now it does. Um, there's no travel in that whatsoever. Um, but I think with a better spring in it, it would work well because it works brilliantly as long as what you're vaping is 22 mil, because it's got an inset 510. Now the issue with these was is that you've got the positive pin, everything else is negative. So if you have anything that overhangs that, immediate auto fire. <laughs> it's honestly the worst design mod on the market. But if you can get it working and it doesn't break on you, it vapes really nicely. So yeah, that's that's the cherry bomber. Keith, oh, they've got to be good, what three Keith years old, four comment. years. Yeah, well, Keith made a good comment in chat. The, uh, the the people who cloned it actually fixed it. Yeah, the cherry people, bomber clone was better than the original. Yeah, it's the only it's the only time I've known a clone be uh, be better than an original. And you, you know the best bit about the clones is they still had written on the bottom there. Fuck all cloners. <laughs> uh, I might try and get a better spring in this mod and actually use it next week or week after. There you go, Cass. Put a point one atty on with trust fires. What could go wrong? Well, I don't really want to find out. I mean, I'm ballsy, but not that ball. <laughs> right, oh, what dear. else have we got on our list for this evening? Ooh, I believe. Uh, go on. Are we, are we going over to... Oh, um, I don't want to mention Chinese New Year. That's always funny at this time of year. Watching all the shops run out of coils. Watching the price of batteries go through the roof. Um, you've got yourselves a few weeks to stock up before shops start running out. Uh, 5th of February, I believe, Chinese New Year is this year. Um, however, is it as I remember it from... Yeah, yeah, it goes on the moon. Um, so... Year of the Pig. Happy New Year, Year of the Pig. Um, what what I do remember was the factory start winding out, winding down three or four weeks before Chinese New Year. Um, so you will find that stock starts drying up very, very soon. Bear in mind that I think they closed down for five weeks, four or five weeks. So if you need any coils, you need any batteries, get yourself stocked up now. Not that I'm condoning panic buying. Um, but if you use um, pre-installed coils, if you use anything that comes from China, then um, get it sooner rather than later. There you go. There we go. Right, Chandler. Hello. I thought. I, I, well, I thought I'd, I'd do I'd Instagram. I've been doing Instagram. Inst let's so. let's full screen uh, oh. Chandler. <laughs> I, I thought I'd share some of the. Uh, I thought I'd share some of the the, the, the stupid things and the uh, and, and and something that might and a couple of things that might generate some chat. But uh, that that I, that cat has got the cough. Bang on, bro. It, <laughs> it has in it. In it. It's like, uh, oh come on! Is, yeah, that is just like awesome. Is he it, God's is new it, team man, member? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, no. 
that, that, that that's kind of got everything everything in a stereotypical vape picture, hasn't it? it it's it's got a it's got a vape ring, it's got a nice trail behind it, and you've also got a bit of pussy. Chandler, <laughs> Chandler, it, it's called Hello. it's called an it's called an O, not a ring. But please continue. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, oh, I'm just, I'm just sorry, so I don't mean down. to interrupt you, Chandler. Has anyone seen yeah. the music video called Blow Some O's with Grim Green in it? No. No. Oh my god, yeah. right, I'm putting it in the chat Come now. Up. Carry on, Chandler. Oh, okay. No, I'm not seeing that. Change uh, your life. Right, okay, next one. Next one. Oh, okay. Uh whoops. Sorry. Uh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Right, when <laughs> Go on, when... Max, max that out again. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. When did, I, when did I can't when, see. You can't see. Are you okay? Oh um, shit. When did, when did when did Frankenstock the Frankenskull start doing juice? Just, just, it cost about just three what? grand a bottle. And is it normal what? juice? No, don't, don't come on. Let 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 let's not be derogatory. It's not three grand no, a, a bottle. It's fifteen pound a bottle, but you've got to have a raffle ticket to buy one. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So, so yeah, I just like Frankenstein juice that, that, that just caught my eye, and I thought I'd uh, thought I'd mention that. What, one. What's the flavor profile? What is the flavor profile? I, do, I, do you know? I, I can't actually see because my Mark, screen's too small. Mark, I think I think Mark said profile. Is it sadness and regret? <laughs> sadness and <laughs> <some> regret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, go to this link. And just oh. watch this music video at your leisure. It is the best thing I've ever seen. And Grim Green has a rap section. Please, please, what? please don't. Yeah, I watched that when it first came out. Yeah, please, please wait until the end of the show because we're going to suddenly start seeing you know, numbers drop at this point as everyone goes and watches something else. Or we get, <laughs> or we get copyright strikes. Um, yeah, yeah. Probably. He's auto tuned. He's auto tuned. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh shit, another one. They, they, they keep creeping in these, don't they? I don't, I don't know where they keep coming what? from. Right. I wanted to. Uh, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd mention these. Uh, I saw this UK vape guys posted this, so they've shared this from IVG. Um, this is a post from IVG. So, so what do you think? This is IVG's new campaign. I, I really think that's really, really, really offensive to miners. You know they've done a hard day down. The, they've done a hard day down the pit. All they want to do pit. is vote. Yeah. Absolutely. You've been a northerner. So. You you should appreciate right. that being a northerner. Damn right. There's what, only what's, a couple of bits down round here, like you know. What what's wrong with them wanting a, a little bit of a a, a cheeky oh. um a cheeky? I'm well, trying not on, to break any in, laws. They've been inhaling all this. Uh, they've been inhaling all this coal dust all uh, all day. So you know. They, they want something that's a little bit be uh, better for them than uh, bloody great big cigar. So you know. But yeah, Rob's I, I just that, said more that, boobs, please. More? No, 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 no. I, I didn't mean to put them on. They just, they just keep. They're just like you know. <laughs> keep popping right, up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they just keep, keep popping up. They do, don't they? So, what, what do you think to this one? Right, this is a Watofo. Oh shit, I can't remember the name of the atomizer. Uh, it's it's a, it's one of the new it's the new Tofo RDA, um, but it was posted up. D does that remind you of anything? It looks like cheap Damascus, if you ask me. But I can't. I really well, can't see it well enough. Does it? Does anyone? Because can anyone see a um, um, a Lego Ninjago figure? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it reminded you of. That. I thought you were going to say it reminded you of your kettle. No, no, it just, it's just <laughs> definitely, and it, it really does look like the uh, the Lego figure. Yeah. So, D Diddy's oh. a Watofu connoisseur. He would say whether he likes it or not. <laughs> wow. And I <laughs> thought I'd go for the most, the the most gaudy, the uh, the the most colourful mod that, uh, that that anybody could find. <laughs> wow, I used I'm to wear like, shit that I used to wear shit like that around my neck in the in the eighties and the nineties when I used to go clubbing. Oh yeah, 
and it yeah, used yeah, to like yeah. glow like bare colors, bro. It was like Apparently that, that RDA <laughs> is called the Elder Dragon. Yeah, you'd have the UV lights, and it'd be like you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Ian, it's so, called the Elder Dragon. The Elder Dragon. Is it? It, oh, I, yeah. I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking the mod. It, it's just with that atty. It's the atty, really. Let's be fair. It's why, a bit... why do all tanks look identical now, though? They've all got bubble glass. They've all got fat drip tips. They're all in like nine thousand different colours. Why do they all look identical? I couldn't tell you whether what that tank was without it being nine different possibilities. I couldn't tell you what company made that tank. So anyway, there you so, go. Let's uh, let's let's just finish. You. Let's just finish with the boobs. <laughs> Tell me, your sister's looking nice. <laughs> that's my that's, that's my missus. Chandler, 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 Chandler. Can I can I ever go? Can, you want to go? What? On your on your missus? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There you go. What was it? Bit of Instagram. Amazing. Oh yes. Amazing. Uh, right, where's the where's the show notes? Where's the show notes? They're everywhere. They're all, they're, and they're nowhere. Um So we forgot to I'm at the beginning of freezing my bollocks off, boys. Yeah, no, you so keep I might saying. go in. Chandler, Chandler. Yeah. Baby wipes, baby wipes. <laughs> what oh, hang on. <laughs> Um, we forgot to do it at the beginning of the show, uh, and that was to decide a Vaping 101 category. <laughs> Chris, Chris, yes. grab up. There's only a little bit of semen on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we, we forgot to decide a Vaping 101 category at the beginning of the show, so okay. right now we're going to decide one. <laughs> choose a category for so rich i don't know if you've seen our vaping 101 basically we decide a category and then you've got to yep. decide something and say why it's got to come back so for example we've done like small atties we did single battery mods we did uh what do we do original sub tanks didn't we i think at one point um loads so come up with something that you'd want to come see back as a category and then we decide um, I don't think I've well. been vaping long enough to um, come back, come up with anything. To be fair, <laughs> I've only been vaping like four months. Four months. So, so okay. So what were you vaping on four months ago? Bring the Cleto. Bring the Cleto back. <laughs> right, uh, Chandler. The Cleto. Yeah. <coughs> the Cleto Cleto Chandler. You'll you'll come across that in about three years. It, so, it's yeah, like I, a I have clue. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's not a Cleto, that's a Cleto 120, isn't it? No, that's a Cleto that's, with a belly no, no, glass. No, that's, a, that's a Cleto with bubble glass on, and it's even got a DHD uh, drip tip on top. Yeah, the okay, Cleto okay, drip tip. Do you so have the mesh for you. it? Is what? raffle spelt differently in different countries? Because I see all these places calling them waffles. It's called a waffle, a waffle. because they're not allowed to do raffles. Oh. Raffles gambling. To hold, yeah. run a raffle is gambling, and you're not allowed that without a gambling license. Therefore, they call them waffles, waffles, call them what you will. Okay, now that makes sense. Sorry, I just, yeah, sorry. These, no are, one, these are my no thoughts. One, no one calls them waffles, waffles. unless you're uh, Eddie Murphy as Donkey in Shrek. <laughs> a waffle? <laughs> a waffle? <laughs> Eddie <in the> Murphy? <laughs> waffles. <laughs> That's actually quite a good impression. I like that. <laughs> Donkey! <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, man? Diddy's amazing. You know I said things that you want to bring back. He just put Vinny's subs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I think that might win. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's one. That's Vaping 101 done. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Job done. All done. Sorted. I want to bring back Vapor with Vic on BT UK. Who said that? What? Chris. Who said that? Oh, Chris, Chris, you want to bring Vic back? 
No, I'm taking the piss, obviously. Oh, are you, are you telling me? I'm, are you telling me I'm on a show that where where the, the vaping, what's his face used to be on? Yeah, yeah. seriously. The first, the first few episodes. And yeah, I'll be I'll be honest. I actually knew that, but when I, I worked out, he, he only managed to he only managed about three episodes before drama, and and that's about it, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, Mark. <laughs> Even Chris is cringing, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's almost as bad as that time when Rick made that slip. Oh, that was brilliant. Right, so so we're in the middle of a show, and uh, Rick decided to drop the N-bomb. Oh! And he absolutely... He shat himself. He shat himself. After the end of the show, he went through and re-edited the show live. <laughs> Even blurred his mouth. In fact, I need to go back and find that episode. Oh, man. Seriously. And, then, yeah, and, and we're going to re-edit it and actually put subtitles underneath. Bring back Hannah mods. There we go. No, let's not do the Hannah thing again. Chris has already been in touch with China to bring back Hannah mods. It ain't happening. Yeah, they need to hurry up to that, really. Did you get a reply? Did they um, even even grace I left, you? I, I left him a voicemail with my phone number. He rang them live on the show. <laughs> you did. It wasn't an email, it was a voicemail. Oh, Rich, ch yeah. check out Hannah Mods. Check out Hannah Mods. Hannah Mods back in the day were incredible. Absolutely yeah, incredible. Know, and until China got the hands Hannah on. Hannah 1. Yeah, the Hannah 1 is the, probably the one that you may know of. But, you, yeah, the, the original Hannah mods, there's no real use for them now because no one vapes at 30 watts. I have a vape less than 20 or more than 40. Um, but, yeah, they were fucking awesome, man. <laughs> oh, and you could get the extra big battery, couldn't you? Well, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go in, boy. I'm freezing and I need to pee. So I'm, gonna, I'm worried I'm going to pee myself and then freeze. That's going to freeze. So And you'll be stuck to the chair. It's, been, it's a bit emotional. Uh, I yeah. love you all. Thank you okay. and good night. Hello. See you later, Chris. Bye-bye. The raw Rolliff head is gone. <laughs> so, Chandler, all of those things that you tried to get in over the last hour and a half, what were they? The what things I was trying to get in? I don't know anything. <laughs> Every time it, I was... Chris is like, oh, okay. It, I, I thought something about one. one. Mods that have a laser built into them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why no, would you bring one... them back? No, no, no. You used to. You, you. Does anybody remember? This is one thing I'd bring. I would bring back. You, you, you got. You had, you had your mod, but. But somebody built a, a torch head, and there was a laser pen as well. But you you could you could unscrew your atomizer, screw on a torch, or you could unscrew yeah. that and then screw on a, a, a laser pointer. I mean, th th that's that was just like you, you could unscrew the atty, you could uh, screw on a whisk, you know. Wismet uh, came uh, out with a USB socket you could screw on, so it became a phone charger. Oh, awesome! Yeah, that's. I, is that the Wismec? Like that. No, that hmm? was the 4-battery Wismec RX 300. Okay. It had well, a mode got, you screwed the USB stick in. I've, I've got about 5 or 10 of those left if anyone wants an RX 300. If anyone's planning an on... RX 300. If anyone's planning on going out and robbing a shop or putting <laughs> a window through or... Keith's back <laughs> with the savagery. Oh... He's okay. <laughs> Bless. Uh, we love Chris, really. <laughs> oh, what other crazy? Apparently, thing? Chris oh, yeah. has gone to stroke his new Rev Three. <laughs> nice. Does anyone remember those um those little meters that you could screw into your RDA and then you could put between your your RDA and your battery and you'd get not only your resistance if you clicked it one way but you'd get your voltage drop if you clicked it the other way so you could stick it on a mech 
and click it and see what voltage drop you got. It's like the best thing ever. Does anyone remember that? Smock made them. They cost about 35 quid. Yeah, but then if you fired it whilst it was in there, it blew everything up. Hmm. Yeah, this is true. But then you don't do it all at the same time. The MVP with a phone charger. You know what? I had one of those yeah, until the I five. I had three of those, and then the five, the five ten kept falling out. Oh, so effectively, all you've got left is a phone charger. Yeah, I actually used it to charge my phone as well. I have one somewhere. Yeah, they had that weird rubber cable in the bottom of it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, they were the days. Did anyone ever figure out the menu system for the MVP two? Because it was just a lot no. of letters and random numbers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, one ever, no one ever figured it out. Yeah, yeah. just, just random and like no, no. Mm. My first ever RDA was an uh, what was it? Is a UD Igo W plus. Does anyone remember? Did you drill? That? Did you drill the air holes out? No. <laughs> and I had it, and I've still got the mech. On a UD Gladiator V2. Little copper mech. 22mm. Yeah. Awesome. When you polish got, it. Got red hot. Dirty threads. Yes. Yeah. And what's worse, I, I, used to have a, I used to have a Petri V2 on it. Now, the Petri V2 makes anything you've got it on red hot. Combine it with the Gladiator, you can heat your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any Petri V2 owners out there will agree with me that whatever you put it on it makes it red hot Mark, was that a monster? No, it was a bottle of coke Okay It's fine it's all right then. Just, oh, just check I, it I'm, I'm doing dry January, I don't drink right. I, The Watofu <laughs> Troll was, uh, I, I agree with Vicky, the Watofu Troll and the Troll V2 were two of my favourite RDAs until the chuff caps disintegrated Um yeah. I came across I came across a box box of stock with freak shows, trolls, and replacement chuff caps. Oh wow! Replacement Can you send me five? Chuff caps. Five chuff caps. Oh, <laughs> five awesome! Chuff caps. Yeah, I used to go through I used to go through one about every six months. The threading on it just or the the, the pulley outy bit just gave way. I don't know why. That was, that was the only thing that was wrong with the troll was 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 the fact that. Got they used to call it a competition cheap. cap. Comp yeah, yeah, cap, yeah. It's, it's, it's just a, it's just a. You can't put your own drip tip on this. You've got to use this one. Oh, I'll never forget. Of... Go on, sorry. I'll never forget when we used to host um, cloud competitions back in the day, and some <laughs> bright spark could turn up with a rough neck and a rig, and you had <laughs> no way, absolutely no way. No. No, I mean, does anyone remember with the Troll V1, you either were lucky and your O-rings were great, or unlucky and they were so tight you'd never get the thing on and off, or so loose that it would just fall off on its own. That was the quality of the original Watofu machining. Yeah. It was just random. <laughs> or the OBS Creus tank, right? One of my favourite tanks. If you bought the black one, it leaked. If you bought the silver one, it didn't. Random. Free Random. show mini. I, I'm going to have a dig out when I get get to work tomorrow, and I, I will I will post on the on the VT UK group. Um, if if anyone wants one of them, drop me a PM. But I'm sure I've got all the morbid colours. I've got the pinks. I've got the greens. I've got the cyan. Incredible. Nice. What was that one that was like pink and spotted? Or no, it was black with pink spots. That was the Sapor. Yeah. How do I remember that? <laughs> and they did it. They did it with the cube as well. And I've got a load of those as well. <laughs> God forbid you want to get anything more than 28 gauge through the posts. <laughs> yeah, of course. Do you ever remember when you get used to get posts and instead of it being three in a line, it was like th it was like one massive one and then two tiny little ones, but there were like four around the center and you had to screw yeah. four posts into one post. <sighs> Oh dear! It's very, very fun. quickly. Going back to RDA, RDA days. What has been your favourite? What has been your favourite deck of all time? Oh, 
This should be nice and quick for me. <laughs> Specific or style? <laughs> oh, bless. Right. Mm. Go on. Favourite deck? Let's, let's start with Rich then, because he's got his answer. Um, see, RDA, I tell you, I tell you, I'm assuming RTAs don't count, yeah? They count. Yeah, so no, just RDAs. A, no, just no, RDAs. RDAs, okay. RDAs. Um, my, I've had, well, I've had four, basically. I've had uh, a Van Die Vape Mesh, which is just terrible. Um, yeah. Um, an iJoy combo with the springy press uh, posts. Again, crap. Um, I've got a drop, Digiflavor drop. That's really nice. Uh, but my favourite one I've still got now is my Recurve audio. Single coil, love it. Uh, uh, explain how the deck works, how the posts work. Are there any posts? Uh, no, uh, this it's postless on the uh, recurve. You just screw it straight into the deck. Um, but I use it for squonking, so it just gives phenomenal flavour. Very easy to build on, just phenomenal. Compared to the I, I Joy combo, it's um, it's an absolute walk in the park. Mm. Um, the Digi flavour. Um, they do have posts, but again, um, that's simple because you just drop your coils in, and then you can just snip under them to uh, get rid of the uh, the legs on the coils. Again, just I'm a joy to uh, build on. I'm pretty sure that I had one of those, and whilst I was trimming my leads, uh, a bit of the snip fell between what we consider to be the post and the outside wall, and I kept getting crazy resistance. Like zero point yeah. zero four and everything else, it was like that. I hated, but as far as flavour goes, very, very good, very good. Um, that actually happened to me the other day. Not, not, I didn't get stuck on the outside, but I snipped it and it disappeared. Couldn't find it. So about half an hour later, when I took a big inhale and part of the leg ended up in my mouth, and I'm just like, "What's this?" And then I realised it was a part of the um, coil leg. You've never inhaled a drip tip, have you? No. <laughs> No, I actually, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't put the whole thing in my mouth. Uh, I just actually just, just... <laughs> without sounding dirty, just a tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Amazing. Right, Chandler. Mine's a dog. Chandler, see. It's all right. I go for it. I really like the the way the gas mods builds up. Yep. Literally, uh, I when I first saw it, I thought I'm going to lose those tiny little grub screws, and I'll be honest with you, I have lost one. Dropped it on a shag pile carpet, never seen it again. However, <laughs> <laughs> however, you just unscrew unscrew that, lay your coil in, put the screw in, tighten it up, job done. It's 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 genius. Rich, Rich, you've got yourself yeah. your own hashtag already. I just did. <laughs> 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 you've been on the hey, show man. for one week one week and you've got your own hashtag already <laughs> hashtag just the tip I don't even have my own hashtag <laughs> I'm going to have to put that on my uh, Facebook profile VD UK hashtag just the tip I like it <laughs> Cass um, I think my favourite deck was probably the Velocity style deck um <clears throat> Simply because when I was learning to build, it made learning to build an absolute dream. Because, like I said, it's you know, one one hole per leg. Um, once you got the pre-builds sorted, uh, pre when you got the pre-bends sorted on the coils, it was wonderful. Um, it worked. It fit in. Well, I mean, so many. How many RDAs had a velocity style deck? How many RTAs had a velocity style deck? The only shit thing with them is that 90% of velocity style decks had terrible grub screws and you just round them off or get them stuck or the Allen the Allen like uh, key would just get jammed in there for like no explainable reason. Um, and then after that, the goon deck was one of my favourites, but I, I haven't used my goon forever. And I think in the last sort of few months, um, the Haku deck is probably my favourite. It's so easy. You slot one side in, it's into the hole, and then you slide the other side in under the plate. I disagree. I think the Haku was an absolute cuntbag. 
But the Haku was the easy version of the Hadley, because the Hadley was a cunt. You had to take that little plate and flip the plate upside down. Yeah, I know what I know what you're saying. The Haku, I don't know. That was. Oh, it's got battery in. Oh, there you go. Look at that. There we I go. thought it was so easy to build on. With the Hadley, you had that plate. I mean, who decided? Let's put a plate on it with a giant ramp so nothing connects to it. It's just going to slide out. So you flip the plate upside down, and it works perfectly. Hmm. But yeah, the My... velocity deck I used for the longest. You see, you see, um, um, I'm going to avoid calling it the Velocity Deck. Because the Velocity the velocity RDA, you know, the design was absolutely incredible. The airflow was shit. Um, put, put your... Ooh, the Soul S. Um, yeah, the, the airflow on the velocity was absolute dog shit until you got it right. As soon as you got it right, it was bang on. Um, sorry, I'm just... Uh... Let's all run away and leave Rich on his own to post the show. <laughs> Bye. So, <laughs> that so, that, so that's the soul deck. So... Uh... Come on, focus, you motherfucker. No. There we there go. There you go. That's the sole. And that is very, very nice and easy to build on. Yeah, that looks wonderful, to be fair. The other one that I really, really like is a post list deck, and that's on my Petrie. One of the first Don't post lists. Like... I'm not a big fan of post list decks. No? Did anyone see? Was it was it the reload RDA that had its posts on the outside and then the coils were on the inside? Like it had like posts around the outside edge, and then your coils sat inwards with the legs kind of pointing outwards. Was that the reload? Mm. Or I don't know. I don't recall. Or we've got this, the tsunami twenty four mil agreed. Although my tsunami cap will not go back onto the deck. I've even taken all the O-rings off, and it will not go back onto the deck. Don't know why. Uh, the Druga, um, the Druga was nice and easy to build on. Yeah. The only problem is with the with the Druga was those because those uh, posts were milled out. They they tend to press in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, look, what? Look at Mark. The Emati deck's nice to build on. Yeah, the Emati deck's nice to afford. Um, the Oati, on the other hand, is an absolute cunt pig, and <laughs> right, right. I'm going to get an Oati. Oati, right? That's um... to be fair. The Oati was a V1, so that I don't know if we can see. Just about focus, focus. It's an absolute shitbag. Yeah. On on the list of the worst RDA decks to build on, was it that was it the M Turk with those chucks that you had to screw on? Yeah. And <laughs> depending on the width of your leg. So basically you had the two things and each post was like a drill chuck, right? And you had to put on the right size chuck dependent on the width of your legs you then put them on and then sort of bent them down and ugh. also the low profile goon was horrible oh that was that was terrible the <laughs> pro was awful right for me mm? for me i would have to say if i go back and think about the rdas that i've used the most over the years it would be the haku it would be the Kennedy, the original Kennedy 24 and 22 mil. However, it was the three post yeah. version. Um, and the battle deck from Comp Life. Night Key, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you later, mate. Um, Bye. Um, <clears throat> the battle deck, 22 mil, three posts, but a good. I think, I think there was a three mil hole post in it. Um, I think I'd probably say let's go goon 
for the favourite. For innovation, and I still have a goon. Yeah. Still use a goon today. Oh, I just thought of another one that was terrible. What was that? Um, the one that always used to come in a tin that everyone turned into a mod. The moonshot. Oh, the moonshot. The the third degree yeah. burn shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the um, and the tornado. Do you remember the tornado that supposedly came with a deck that could hold six coils, but nobody ever got the deck that held six coils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was fun. Yeah, then, right. I, I think. Are we there? I think. I think so. <laughs> you have a massive tongue. <laughs> I thought that was a piece of ham. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lindsay's having a great time. She's joking, she's not got she has not got out of bed all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just i I've just realised that the that the rose pretty much fits in the gizmo. No it's an alien branded gizmo. Yeah. Slightly well, longer get... drip tip. I was going to say, be careful good. you don't close the air, close the juice flow off as you screw it in using the drip tip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tornado, wasn't that the one that used the Disney font? Yes. I thought yes, so. Yes, it was. Yeah. I hate the moonshot yeah. and say no. Both biggest regrets, yeah. Agreed. Right, on that note, I think we're about there. If you've not yet and you would like to, please smash that thumbs up button. If you've not subscribed um, to us, please subscribe. If, if you're not a member of the Vote Talk UK group on Facebook, please come and check us out. Uh, thank you very much for thank you very much to Rich for joining us this evening. Um, and go and check thank out. You for having me. Uh, you're welcome. And go and check out the guys over at Choo Choo Vapors for a no drama vape group. Um, I am. I've already opened up a Google Hangout. Thank you. Um, hey. I will pop a link into the chat in a second. It's there. I'm not going to hit enter yet. Uh, we will be back next week um, for more shits, giggles, and bullshit. Thank you very much for joining us, and see you, you next thank Tuesday. Ciao, Bella! Okay, thank you.